Hey, so I'm gonna let you guys know about the hood, man. Watch this one. So keep it G, man. I haven't even seen this before. You know what I'm saying? This just opened up this Let's go see what's up to this man. What's up, bro? Hey bro, so can you give me like a little bit of history about this spot? Well, uh, just to keep it G in the hood. So, uh, we're on the corner of Palm and Picador. Palm and Picador is over here, man, on this side. Of here. We got uh, Montgomery High School. A lot of the homies went to the high school. What'd you call Lily? What school you was in? I was up in Brown, all the way to South Bay, you know what I'm saying? You were in Palm City Summit, man. Palm City Summit, yeah, middle school. So, yeah, oh, man, this was separates. This right here separates uh, all of us, like San Isidro. We got Otay on this side. We got uh, Imperial Beach over here on the west side. We got Imperial Beach and shit. We got the ghetto bird up there. He already outside. Come on. You got the little homies in there too, listen. We got the other liquor right here. We got a new owner though, I think, because I've just seen this guy, man. Thank you. But yeah, basically, this is the hood and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We're right in the corner of everything. We're right in the intersection of everything and shit. We on the we got some bullshit going on right here. All right, don't trip. We're going to get at him right now. We got the wood out there. Hey, right, so look, this little bullshit happened, but it's good. Come on. Hey, so what's it like on an everyday basis out here? Shit, well, keep it G, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really speak too much of it and shit, but you see what's going on and shit over here right now. You know what I'm saying? So, it'd be shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But certain days should be hotter outside, certain days should be more popular. I'm not trying to sugarcoat shit, bro. Hey, right, don't trip. Hey, turn that off real quick, yeah. Hey, where the... Where... So this is a different part of the hood. We, we over here by the 5 Freeway side. We're right here on Palm and shit by the trolley station, Palm and Hollister. You know what I'm saying? Right here we got the, the liquor store. Hey, so what's this area called? This is Palm City right here. Palm City? Palm City, where's the you know how, can you tell us how, like, how it got its name? Oh man, I know that my hood started like in the 1960s, man. Back in the 60s, it started as Palm City Locals. Um, the new generation, which is us, we came out and we started banging that face, which is a, a click from my hood. You know what I mean? So, this is the liquor store right here. All this shit right here was a dirt lot. All this shit used to be dirt all right here and shit, you know? It was never a trolley station, but probably like in the early, late 90s probably they made all this shit right here we in the south side of san diego we in the south side part we got the southeast division we got the west side division and we're in the south bay region of san diego so uh 92154 is the zip code right here in this area uh so this area right here is locked down as palm city what up brother how you doing chilling we're sam man that fool's never here man What's up with the man? How you doing, OG? What's going on? What up with the man? Y'all filming in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You the owner or what? You ain't the like, owner? He's, he, he said, I work here. Huh? I work here. Come on, I'm man. security here. Okay, man. I never seen you here. You better just you, 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 Good thing you, you never see me because you wouldn't be doing this if I was here. Nah, you knew or something, man. You I ain't been here for a few months. How many? But anyway, what's going on? What's going on? You, you still kind of rapper or something? Uh, yeah, 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 man. So you trying, you trying to put it down for the for the. No, no, I'm just putting light. I'm putting light on the city, man. That's how I ain't mad at you, no. Know. I just want to put the X on. Sure, I might not want to be on there. You know, I might be here. <laughs> now you in the hood though, man. You in the hood. I'm from Palm City, man. This is my neighborhood right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm Skyline. So I'm For from sure. A different neighborhood. For sure. I fuck with Big yeah. June. I fuck with everybody over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm original Skyline. Alright, OG. Yeah. All right, OG.
Little like man, what's that. up, that's it? You motherfuckers, peace up, nigga. Peace up, man. Shit. I'm not even gonna lie. I, every time I go to jail and I get out, like, they always have some new shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, this spot is new right here, too. The 664. We need to do some shit right here, little. Yeah. We'll probably do like a t shirt shit or something going on right here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, guys. Basically, man, we just like on this side of the hood. We were just on the other side over there by the uh, Montgomery High School. You know, we had to evacuate the situation. Some bullshit happened, but. We're gonna continue this little interview this way. All right, little Gifo. What's up with the Capone, man? Not much, dog. You made it out here, fool. Made it back, made it out to San Diego, you know? Out here, man, for the yeah. second time, getting it, getting it in. Yeah, hell yeah. So how you been? You been good? Chilling, Grinding? Bro, chilling. When the last time I see you was, you know what I'm saying? Working, chilling. I see you. I see yeah. you working, man. You doing a lot. You know, um, last interview did good. You know, you had a real interesting story that people liked. Yeah. You know? Um, so what's going on with you now, man? You working on some music? You got some music coming up? Well, shit, you know, we, I dropped like uh, two projects in the last 90 days, all blew everything. I dropped uh, Strictly for the Streets probably like three weeks ago with shit. And I'm just going crazy on the visuals. So where are we at right now, man? We're in Palm City. We're in the South Bay of San Diego. South Bay of San Diego, five minutes, uh, five exits away from the border. We're right here in my barrio and shit, Palm City. We're right here by, uh, we're right here. You hear the trolley cracking right here. We got the Palm City liquor across from this wall right here, which is posted. You know, we came out here, you was giving away some stuff at the school. Yup, yup, yes sir, yup. We was giving out free shit at uh, Montgomery High. We was outside Montgomery High giving out free shirts to the kids, giving out uh, hoodies and shit, trying to get back to the youth and shit like that, trying to see what, you know, what they're talking about and shit. And so what's it like for you out here on a day-to-day -day basis? Man, well, to keep it G with you, like, it's just a lot of uh, hatred out here, man, to tell you the truth. Like, if they're not from the hood and shit like that, from my barrio, it's kind of like uh, a lot of people out here, they act weird when it comes to people making music or just people, like, doing anything with their lives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you kind of like a target and shit like here sometimes and shit like that. Okay, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, like, every hood, you guys got a lot of beef and shit, man, you know. What, what if like some just random dude was just walking down the street right now? What would happen? Shit, ain't, ain't shit gonna happen to him. You guys gonna talk and find out who he is? Nah, we ain't really gonna say too much to him, doggy, unless he's doing something, you know, putting himself out there like that. But we're not gonna harass nobody in our hood. This is our hood. You know, like we grew up here, so it's like, we recognize who's who already. We already know who's who and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if we don't recognize you with shit, it's all good still. As long as you ain't doing no funny shit over here, you know, like you ain't you ain't tagging or nothing like that, or you ain't disrespecting us in any kind of form or way, you know what I mean. But um, how far are your ops from here? Shit, I mean, I'm from Palm City, so we we right here in the middle. Um, we have Imperial Beach, just right across this bridge right here. We got Imperial Beach. Uh, on this side, going south, we got San Isidro. Um, coming back this way on the north side of us over here, we got uh, Otay, and then on the east side of us over here, we got Del Sol. You know, so we kind of just like uh, we're like the hub and shit like that. Like we're like right in the middle. We're the hub of all the of all the South Bay uh, barrios and shit like that. Oh, what high school did you go to? Shit, I went to a bunch of high schools, man. I went to uh, Chula Vista High, Palm City Summit, South Bay Summit, mostly like continuation schools and shit. What happened? You got kicked out of some high schools? Yeah, we got kicked out, go to jail, get locked up, shit like that. I was young and shit, so you know, I was still like at that phase where we were fucking up the streets, getting down and shit, doing whatever, you know, gang banging and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, for the most part, bro, this is the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about respect, really, just like any other place. We respect, we respect anybody comes into our area and shit like that. Uh, we take care of our community. We take care of, of the streets we grew up on. So just anybody come around here, disrespecting, you know, vandalizing our spots and shit like that or anything, then I mean, of course, just like any other person who stays in this area, we're gonna take care of it. The hood kind of started in the, in the 60s, whatever, right? Yeah. And then you, you mentioned something about like, uh, like the newer generation. So when did the newer generation start? I wanna say about 2000 and 2005, 2004. Uh, we started a new a new clique, a new generation came through and shit. So uh, we're a different clique from our barrio and shit. 
So it was a face from Mila Hispana. So all the homies got down from Palm City, you know, we made it one big hood and shit like that. So we got two different cliques. We got Palm City uh, locals, which is the older generation. Then we got Palm City uh, Familia Hispana FH, which is where I'm from, my clique. Then we got uh, Criminal CAL, Palm City CAL, which is another clique in my hood. So we got like three cliques in my hood and shit like that. And so were they all from the same vicinity and they decided to just join up or were they in each different neighborhood first and they all, all the neighborhoods kind of just combined? Nah, we all grew up, we all grew up on Palm. Okay. We all grew up right here on Palm and shit like that. We all went to the same school, Montgomery or whatever in the South Bay, you know what I'm saying? So You guys just basically just decided to make it official. Yeah, basically we was we was like cliques, you know, just a bunch of homies and shit like that. So we, we got down for a neighborhood. And did was there a difference before everybody kind of like like uh, joined up together? Like how you said the older generation, new generation? Was there like a big difference or was it just Yeah, it was a huge gap. It was a huge gap. Probably like a 15 year gap in between us. Oh, wow. You know what okay. I'm saying? So we, we brought it back to life. You know, so things were kind of quiet before then. Yeah, we brought it back to life. We came, we popped back out and shit like that. I remember this motherfucker, my homie right here, took me on my first uh, 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 house, house, house lick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> took me on my first house lick. They yeah. talk about this. That shit, that shit's old as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So he taught me how to steal houses back in the day. He took me on my first little lick to steal a pad. We used to run around and shit, run the muck. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not though. I don't really do that. I don't do that, but you know what I mean? Yeah, the shit. homie, the homie done. Remember when we were in the Amigas hood and shit? They threw that shit at your car, the brick when we were picking up the high Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Bunch of bullshit. Just being active, you know what I'm saying? I've seen you post about some sad boy loco stuff. Yeah. So what's going on with all that? Man, well, shit. The whole situation with me and sad boy is, is real simple, man. It's like. About two years ago, before he went to jail, um, he came down here for a show to do a show. The promoter was my homie. The promoter put me on FaceTime with him, chopped it up with him. He was gonna work with me on the strength, you know what I'm saying? Cause the homie brought him down here to make money and shit like that. So from there, uh, the homie brought him down here. He did the show, whatever. I ended, up, I ended up getting locked up. He ends up getting locked up too. So when I'm locked up and shit, he ends up, uh, Getting out, when he gets out, I hit him up and shit like, what's up boy, like, what's cracking this shit, we still gonna work? But he was DMing me, telling me, yeah, we're gonna work and shit. Even when I was locked up, he sent me a couple of DMs, and my, my girl would tell me your shit, like, through the, through, the, through the phone, like, hey, this dude, sad boy, just hit you up. He said, what's up, you won't. You know what I'm saying? So, when I got out, he was locked up now. He was doing that shit, uh, cause he had to attempt to murder. So he finally beat his shit or whatever happened to his ass, and he got out. Uh, and he reached out to me again, like, what's up, boy? And I was like, I was, I was like, what's up with this shit? And this was like, shit, fool, what's up? You still wanna work? I said, yeah, let's get it. This fool said, 6K. He told me 6,000. After he hit you up? After he hit me up, he told me 6,000 and shit, so. And I kinda took it like, um, I thought we were already on some other shit, you know? I thought we were already eye to eye on some other shit, like, I thought we were already, um, on, on another level type shit because my homie brought him down here to make money. You know, I know his brother too and shit, Lewis and shit, you know. He shot me a couple of beats before too. So I didn't think it was gonna be on some on some money shit like 6,000, 5,000. But um, so I told him straight up, I'm like, bro, come on G, like, I just, I didn't even think it was him at first. I thought it was like his manager or somebody doing his, doing his IG, but, but it was him and shit, I guess, who, and um, shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, and you know, and did you guys fix anything? Have you guys? Nah, fuck that boy. I told him straight up already. You know what I'm saying? He he can't come down here. Promoters already hit me up the other day asking me uh, if it's cool if they can book him. You know, the homies are just gonna get off on him just on some G shit like that. Nothing serious and shit, you know. But how can this be fixed? Can this be fixed in any way? I really don't give a fuck to tell you the truth. Like, I don't care. I just, I already said what I said to him and shit. I told him, you know, what we could do. He didn't want to do it. Uh, it's all good. Like, I don't give a fuck. Just, he just can't come down here. I don't want to see him down here, straight up. He's not going to get another show down here. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But I mean, he for sure not going to get another show down here. And if he does, I mean, you know? Yeah. You definitely doing your thing. You out there grinding. You know, you got a lot of good music out. You know, you got a few videos over a mill. 
Right? How many videos you got over a mil now? Not even know. I don't even know. I know two, three, some shit like that. So you've been grinding, you know what I'm saying? And uh you know that's what's up, man. You guys had any like uh any notable people or people that that we would know that came out of this area? Man, who's come out of this area? I mean Mitchie Slick, but he came out the southeast right up the street. Um who else came out of over here? A couple of soccer players and shit. <laughs> you know, we over here by the border, homie. We were here, literally, we could throw a rock to TJ probably. That's how close we are. Two more exits down, you're in Tijuana. You been down here? Oh, yeah. Well, here? No, I mean, I've been to TJ. Though. Yeah. I've been in TJ. Yeah. Oh, this know is my first time hanging out in like, this would be like what considered South San Diego? South San Diego, hell yeah. Okay. So yeah, man, but as far as famous people out this motherfucker, probably just the, uh, you know what I'm saying, Mitch oh, with uh, the music. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon too, man. He's from uh, Mitchie, he grew up with uh, and Park. Mitchie Slicks. Uh, or uh, J.O. Felony too, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Rob Felony. Stone, Rob Stone's you know, out of here. Chicano rappers, Little Rob, shout out Little Rob. Yeah, Little Rob, I fuck with Rob, uh, Shadow, Little One, all that and shit. Yeah. Any, anybody you want to work with? I really, bro. Yeah. Anything really, you got coming up? Shit, man, I'm working every day. We just pumping out new shit every day. You know, the streets don't lie. The views don't lie and shit like that. We ain't doing no paid views. We don't even know how to do that shit. We don't even know how to upload our music, man. We give it to the distro. The distro uploads that shit for us. You know what I'm saying, though? But real shit, all authentic shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, who's complaining shit when the music don't go up? Or like, who's like, just ain't getting no views, motherfuckers just ain't getting no love and shit like that. Motherfuckers just probably ain't from the hood, the motherfuckers ain't real, you know? Motherfuckers just don't be real and shit. And, they, and then some motherfuckers be fake as fuck. And they got millions of views, you know what I'm saying? You said you had a few uh, videos that are over a million now, so how did you how did you build yourself up to that point? Like, what did you, you know what I'm saying? I think it just happened, man. Like, as far as like me just developing as an artist and shit like that and just, uh, Perfecting on my music and shit like that and as far as like working with my team with the visuals Shit like that and just um, I think just perfecting my shit man, you know what I'm saying? You literally just, just kept it authentic and just put, put stuff out and it, it kept, just spoke for itself Yeah, the beat selection is everything too though, you know, and then I mean I also feel too like you gotta really say you gotta be who you say you are in real life You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of rappers and shit like they a lot of rappers and shit like they ain't really who they say they are and shit You could tell you know, you could tell the rappers that pay for shit or the rappers that pay to do shows or the, the rappers who don't really get love like that, like it's not authentic love and shit, you know, or you, you could just tell and shit, you know, we don't really fuck with them and shit over here. You mentioned your production also, so who are some of the uh, producers that you work with? Uh, Jay Beats and my homie Benji, those are my two in-house producers, the only people I fuck with. You have a label? Like, is it you guys your own your own thing going on? I got some shit called Street Made. Street Made the label, you know? I haven't signed no artists, nothing like that. It's just basically a bunch of homies and shit who are, you know, doing their shit, who fuck with me, you know? So who are some of your homies that we should look out for that you that you work with? Shit, man, you guys gotta look out for my boy Chunks. My boy Chunks and shit, I feel hard as fuck. He from my hood, too. He from CAL, Palm City. Yeah, look out for him and, um... Shit, man, just look out for me. Keep it G. I don't know about nobody else like that, but you guys just seen us right now. We was on the other side of the hood by the APTs. Some bullshit happened. I had a meet and greet. I was doing a meet and greet with the high school and shit like that. Um, everything was cool on our half. You know what I'm saying? Helicopter came out, some weird shit happened. But uh, other than that, shit, we outside still. We posted this shit. We still here. Can you talk about like how often does would something like that happen around here? Is that like a pretty common or is that we just so happen to come here when that happened? I mean, it is what it is. I couldn't really tell you much more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if homies is outside or shit, motherfuckers are just outside, but uh, we in our hood, so we're not tripping on nobody unless people come here and, 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 and trip on us. And even then, like, right now, we at a times where everything is real calm. It just be getting however it gets when we outside. I think you mentioned you, you kind of live a little bit out of your, outside of your hood. Yeah, yeah, I live, I live that way, so a little bit. A lot of rappers, you know, have to move out of their hood for safety reasons, because as we've seen, you know what I'm saying, uh, a lot of rappers get killed, most recently, Young Dolph, and 
you know, a lot of other dudes. You know, I know I talked to Fulio before. You know, yeah. he has major beef in his hood, in his city. You know, he was just uh, in a shootout. I mean, he had to move to Atlanta just to kind of fucking, you know what I'm saying? To try to get away from everything a little bit, man. Yeah. You know? Talk to me about that a little bit. Well, shit. Like, I mean, it be getting hot over here. So, what's like if... If you live in the hood and you really rapping and you popping or you viral already and shit like that, it's like if you don't got a burner on you, I mean, you're going to get got, you're going to get killed. Somebody's going to kill you. Your, you know, whoever, the enemy, your homie, somebody will kill you just because jealousy and shit. So it's like, you either got to be packing, you're going to get caught by the police, you're going to go to jail because you got a gun on you. The police over here, they don't they don't be playing like anywhere else and shit. Like rap, being a rapper and shit, it's, it's, it's fucked up, though, because... We already a target right away. We a target to the enemies. We a target to the police. We a target to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it just it's just like it like it just be sketched out all the time, bro. But um, to answer your question and shit, man, it's either you're gonna have to stay strapped out here and risk going to jail, or you gotta go somewhere else. You're gonna get killed, and it's just facts. You know what I'm saying? What is it like uh, being an artist in, in San Diego in general? Cause, you know, San Diego doesn't get as much shine as like. LA or something like that. So yeah. those are like some of the differences that you've seen uh, artist-wise or being an artist out in San Diego. Oh, man. There's not a lot uh, much to do down here except, you know, um, be involved in whatever you you do with your homies or some shit. But like as far as music, industry shit or any kind of weird shit like that, like uh, events, there ain't really shit popping down here. You know, you got to go out of state. You got to go to, uh, like I said, LA or somewhere else and shit like that, Orange County. But, um, when it comes to SD, it's, it's, it's hard to uh, create a wave of music down here. It's, it's easy to put it out and get noticed, but it's it's hard to like stay afloat out here because motherfuckers be hating and shit, you know what I'm saying? So you guys don't have like a culture of supporting each other out here? Yeah, there's no real like industry, you know, rap industry out here in San Diego and shit, doggy. How are the artists with each other? Like, do you guys support each other at all? Motherfuckers, like, they don't see you. They act like, you know, they have that little pride and shit, like, uh, and it's because it's all on the game banging shit. It comes down to like where they from, politics and shit like that. Like, oh, they don't fuck with you for this reason or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, fool, so basically out here, it's, it's just like that, bro. Ain't no music scene really out here at all. You know, and whoever is making music, motherfuckers ain't really never in the town because there's no, there's no dope producers like that down here. Or there's no, uh, there's no music scene down here, bro. So motherfuckers just get up and leave. That's all it really is down here. Like these fools trip out that I rap, Capone. These motherfuckers, my homies and shit, they be tripping out that I rap because it's, there's no rap shit down here. There, there's no other rap Mexican rappers coming out of San Diego like, like that. You know what I'm saying? Like gang banger Mexican rappers and shit. So the homies be kind of tripping out on me that I actually took it this far, shit. Yeah. Nah, you gotta go, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got more and more. I see you, you growing. Well, man, I appreciate you, dog. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know we got some dope footage. I'm sure the fans are gonna love it. Till next time. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yes.